20 years of Azeroth's greatest adventures. Guys, Blizzard just put out this brand new video celebrating 20 years of World of Warcraft, and I wanted to watch it live for you all. But also, uh, you know, the real meat of this video is I wanted to just take a moment just to uh, maybe nostalgia a little bit because I've never it's very rare that I talk about like my I guess my experiences playing WoW and all the time that I've played it. You know, I'd like to share some stories with you guys and maybe just kind of go down a nostalgia trip. But first, let's uh, watch this video and then I'll tell you a little bit about my adventure in all the years that I've been playing this game. So maybe you guys will get to learn something new about me, but let's just watch this first. It's only three minutes. Now let's check it out. Clearly Hurricane made it. That's cool. Back to high school, man. It's like remastering all the like, old trailers. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Look at my cat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause for one second and just say that I think it's really cool how what he's doing is he's taking even like the animated like animatics from like, you know, Harbingers and stuff. And he's just bringing it to life in 3D. Anyway, that, that anyway. I feel like kind of rushed through like the last few expansions right there. Hold on one second. Yeah, we kind of went from uh, like Legion to Battle for Azeroth to, I mean, Shadowlands got nothing. Like, hold on one second. The, the, look at Shadowlands, just one shot and it's over. <laughs> that was it. Compare that to like classic WoW and like TVC and Wrath of the Lich King. Like, all right, anyway, but okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, a, a very simple video, obviously just, you know, just going through all the expansions no narration i was hoping for a narration actually that's okay that was cool man just seeing like all like especially like this like i don't know if you guys remember like the original black temple trailer i remember when it first came out ill and coming down big old wings and stuff for those that don't know I've, I've been playing this game since 2005 2005 so i i didn't play like the alpha back uh, you know when wow was first being developed i had never even played warcraft 3 before i first played wow wow was more than a game for me growing up like 
you know, in high school and maybe like late middle school. I'm not, I have to like do the math, but you know, late middle school, high school, like WoW was like just a, like it was a, it was a world that you could escape into. And, you know, during those days, like those first few years of uh, playing WoW, you know, yeah, it's playing the game and learning the story and stuff. And then finally getting to play Warcraft 3 because I didn't even know WoW was like an RTS game. Or, well, Warcraft was an RTS series of games before WoW. I had no idea until somebody told me in game after like, I, it was like early TBC when I learned that. Um, fun fact, I had just hit level 58, maybe 57, but I believe it was 58 when TBC came out. So I never, back in like the vanilla WoW days, like I never actually got to like raid and you know, do Molten Core, and I, I never got the Ragnaros experience and stuff. Like, I was almost there, and then TBC came out. And that is when I really became a Warcraft fan during, uh, ooh, I got a sneeze that wants to come out, but that was when I really became a Warcraft fan during Burning Crusade. It's when I started reading the books, played through Warcraft 3, still have never played Warcraft 2 or Warcraft 1, fun fact, um, which is why I'm kind of really looking forward to that Warcraft 2 remaster. But, you know, I'll talk about that in another video. But uh, yeah, man, dude, I used to be uh, <laughs> I used to be a nerd <laughs> when it came to WoW, man, just reading everything, consuming everything, reading every bit of quest text and stuff. And it's actually, you know, that nerdiness actually is what made me a role player for many years in WoW. Like, you know, I, I started as a PvP player, then I became a PvE player for a few years. Then I became a role player for many years. And then after that, that's what actually got me into making machinima about the characters that I, you know, role played as like Nixium and stuff. And, you know, the machinimas blew up. People loved the machinimas that I was making, the stories that I was telling, the characters I was creating. And then eventually, you know, I grew a pair of balls and I decided to start making some videos saying, this is what I think about the game and like the current state of it, like as a, a veteran player. Um, I just dropped my phone on the ground, but that's okay. But yeah, you know, I started making videos, sharing my thoughts on just, this is what I think about this patch. This is what I think about, you know, Warlords of Draenor. It was around that time. I was uh, shocked <laughs> to discover that people actually uh, cared what I had to say. And then that's kind of like when I became a little bit of a, I really don't like the word influencer. I, I, don't, I don't like that, but I, I guess I am even if I don't view myself that way. Um, I've never really seen myself as like a, a like a YouTuber or like an influencer. Like I'm just a guy who likes WoW, who makes videos talking about WoW, occasionally praising Blizzard and saying this is awesome and occasionally shitting on Blizzard and saying this is garbage. And so it's why like, you know, the, the Nixium community, you know, I put out a video saying, this is good. And everyone's like, you're a shill. And I put out another video saying, this is bad. And everyone's like, you're a hater. And so, yeah, I got them all. Like in the Nixium subscriber, you know, count. I got I got all of you guys in there. I, I think some of my like most nostalgic memories, like over the, I don't even know how many years it's been, like 19 years of playing WoW, 18-ish years. I mean, my first raid was Karazhan in TBC, like doing that with the guild clockwise with, uh, what was his name? Like Capavio and stuff. I think that was his name. Like some of my officers. I remember big sniffing, like <laughs> playing with that guy. Um, yeah, he had a very nasally voice, but yeah, big sniffing was one of my officers back then that I raided with and, you know, playing Wrath of the Lich King. Dude, I wrote greatest day ever on my math test on the day that Wrath of the Lich King came out. I went home from school. My sister drove me to GameStop. I had the game pre-ordered. I picked up that game, went home, installed it. I remember looking at like the installation thing and I was playing the Wrath of the Lich King music and it's telling the story of Arthas. Of course, at this point, I played Warcraft 3. I loved Arthas as a character. So dude, making a death knight and like getting to Hellfire Peninsula and all the death knights are running around. So that was so cool, man. You know, playing through Wrath and then of course, you know, the years being a role player later on. And it was actually like meeting people through role play. It, it evolved into me actually, you know, traveling like to Europe multiple times to meet friends that I had, you know, role played with and stuff. And, uh, you know, meeting guild members and stuff like that. Like, you know, role play was really special for me. 
um, those years. And, you know, to this day, you know, I'm still a role player. Like, you know, I'm a D and D DM. Um, I just got back this weekend from an event down in South Carolina, like doing LARPing and stuff. So I went from being a WoW role player to being a D&D DM to being a LARPer. Like, you know, I, I went the full mile, man. I'm still role playing to this day, just in different ways. Not so much in video games anymore. Like I prefer, you know, decking myself out in the kit and, you know, going out and like, you know, doing quests out in the woods and stuff. Um, I could tell you some stories. I mean, like, uh, like, uh, 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 well, actually, I feel like maybe I shouldn't tell you some stories because it doesn't really fit the video. But let's just say that just over this weekend, I, I got a quest where I had to um, I, I had to convince uh, five different ladies to marry me and they all couldn't know about each other. And I was doing this all for a copper cup. You want to see the cup? Here it is. Like, I got a quest to get this cup. It's a really nice little cup. It's just some cheap thing from Hobby Lobby, but I like it. I had to convince five ladies at like this big event that I was part of to marry my characters. I had to propose to them. I got like these rings and stuff. They don't all know. They don't know about each other. But, you know, at the next event, my character is going to be in a little bit of trouble because they're going to figure out about each other. But, you know, whatever, you know, so anyway, role play is fun. It's it's silly. It's 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 a good time. We make a lot of friends doing it. But anyway, so wow, like opened that door for me. You know, it opened that pathway into um I, like a lot of the stuff that I do today, like even like painting Warhammer figurines and stuff like my love of like reading lore and, you know, getting into fantasy universes and stuff that that all started with WoW. You know, WoW is what made me an even bigger fan of Lord of the Rings. Like WoW is what like I, I could go on about it for a long time. But and then, of course, you got some like some friends of mine, like uh, like Mukluk, for example. I met him years ago just making machinima and uh, Mukluk was the best man at my wedding. Um, Mukluk is still my friend to this day after all these years. Like, I think we met back in Mists of Pandaria. I don't even know how many years ago that was off the top of my head. And we're still friends to this day. Um, currently working on a book about Nixium and Mukluk in their own little fantasy world. But I'll make a video about that here soon, kind of explaining that. Um, I even released a like a little sneak preview of that to like, you know, channel members and stuff and like Twitch subscribers. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that in a different video. Like, it's just, it's been an adventure. WoW has changed my life for the better in so many ways. Yeah, I've been playing the game for like 18-ish, 19-ish years. You know, sometimes I, I think, like, what would my life be like if I hadn't have gotten into WoW? And I can't really answer that question, but um, I'm very happy where I am today, and I'm happy for the adventures that I've had, both in-game and out of game. I, I just have so many, like, fond and fun memories that I can certainly say that it was definitely worth it. Those those moments like uh, in high school, for example, you know, I have the prom, you know, the senior prom. I didn't go to senior prom. Dude, I had to raid that night. Like, I, I ain't going to no prom like I got a raid. So anyway, guys, like uh, I, I could tell a million stories. I mean, over the years of me making YouTube videos, I've told, you know, many stories in different videos and uh, I don't know, just uh, for the sake of the 20th anniversary of WoW, I just wanted to nostalgia a little bit and also you know, watch this video with you guys. Some of you guys have been watching me since I first got started making YouTube videos seriously uh, back in like Mists of Pandaria. Some of you guys maybe have even been watching me since the days of Wii Game. Yeah, remember Wii Game? You know, WiiGame.com? Yeah, dude, that's that's old school stuff right there, dude. I've been around. <laughs> I guess happy 20th anniversary to WoW. Happy uh, 20th anniversary to the community. And I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm just glad that you guys have been a part of that story. And uh, there have been a lot of like uh, hard times, obviously, in these years. And reading like the comments on YouTube, like the support, the love definitely has uh, it. It was very inspiring to me um, in, in moments in my life, which I won't really go into with this video because it's very personal, but uh, there were certainly moments in my life, just like anybody else where, you know, things are hard, you know, you're a bit low, you're struggling. And then, um, you know, you guys, the audience that I was able to sort of accumulate over the years saying like, you know, hey, I love your content. I think you're kind of cool, Nixium. Um, whatever, like, you know, that that definitely I don't know. You guys are a part of my story and I couldn't be more thankful for that. But anyway, I'll, I'll stop here. Guys, happy 20th anniversary to you guys, to World of Warcraft. And uh, I suppose I'll see you on my or in my next video. And also we got this Warcraft 30 direct thing going on. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see what Blizzard's got cooked up for us over the next 
20-ish years. Anyway, I'm done. I'll shut up now. And I'll see you.